What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your What's Coming Thursday video. This is just a bit of an update. We know that we are going to be getting a fairly large update in terms of it being a V3.6.2 update on the 11th of the 7th, which is tomorrow, Thursday, the 11th of July. And that is going to be V3.6.2. Now, there is a couple of things to go through here, but genuinely, I don't think there's going to be massive changes until eFootball 2025. We'll get into that in the live stream as well uh, tomorrow or whatever if we get a chance to do that. But we are going to be covering all the information here. So we do know some things that are coming and there also have been a couple of teases which we'll get into this tournament which is kind of like the the mock up generic kind of euro 2024 and copa america 2024 them tournaments are still ongoing all the events are going to be finished tomorrow so you can see there the only event that will be left will be the spanish teamed club events for online and offline pvp and versus the ai the rest of the events are going to be gone and that's going to continue on as well with the contracts and with that sort of stuff as well so when we do have the v3.6 update here I do feel like that there's not going to be that big of a change. Yes, we're getting a new match pass, but the phase for the eFootball League, that's kind of slightly changed as well. And that's probably not going to be, you know, done again until eFootball 2025. The rest of the stuff that we see here, it's pretty much going to be uh, contracts and cards and also a couple of changes to the penalty system and that which will probably become. So the national team, the player of the week, the player of the season are going to be gone. All these nominating contracts are going to be gone. But there is going to still be the European and the national uh, packs that are still going to be left, as well as all the packs there as well with the Argentina pack and all that. So it's mostly going to be just kind of a little bit of content. The daily game, a few people have asked me about this. I will do a video on what I've heard about the daily game as soon as I'm able to do it and I get a bit of time to do it. Obviously, I've been very busy the last couple of weeks with the wedding and stuff. But now that that's out of the way, we are going to be going pedal, flooring the pedal to the metal pedal metal to the pedal pedal to the metal pedal to the floor we're going to be doing loads of eFootball 2025 content i don't even know that saying and what's wrong with me but yeah so for the rest of the stuff lads it's going to be all about i think eFootball 2025 but this is going to be the last big kind of update i would say until then there is nothing available for the eFootball point so i'll get this in smash that like button let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video on what i think is going to happen and some of the stuff i've been hearing for eFootball 2025 in terms of this stuff you're seeing on screen also, with the news that we always get from the the official eFootball Twitter account or the X account, we do know what national team player of the weeks we're going to be getting. So it looks like we're going to be getting two here that are featured. They've started to kind of do a little bit of different stuff here. And as you can see with this one, you've got your player of the week, national July 11th, 2024. And just if we expand that out as well here with the graphic itself, the actual screenshot that you see on screen here, it is, doesn't take long for people to actually get in and realize who the players are going to be. So straight away, I was thinking that this was either going to be Yamal or it was going to be Saka. Obviously, they're the two teams that score with those left foots, those kind of like uh, styles. It looks like it's going to be England's Saka. And then, of course, we have Martinez, Emi Martinez in goals as well for Argentina as they continue on their march in the Copa America. The Player of the Week National July 11th, there seems to be the renders that operate there. Now, also, Del Piero himself has tweeted out a brand new card that's going to be coming. And we're going to show you the trailer here. Obviously, this is just a little bit of a snippet of what the card will be. And you can see Del Piero here, number 10, the Italian Maestro. There are a couple of new cards and new boosters in the DB. And there will probably be a lot more added on Thursday as well. But these are the three cards that have been, uh, you know, rumored to come within this pack. They might mix it. It's very rare that they bring out three Italian players or three Spanish players or three English players or three big time players that are from the same club because they try and get a catch all and, you know, usually have a player from like Madrid or Barca um, just to kind of catch two fan bases. So I do think that there are still a lot of cards out. But these, for people that are asking me um, what cards come with Del Piero or whatever, we don't know yet, but there are a lot of cards like this. These are from Buddy J on Twitter. These mock-ups here, they're official images, but they're just mocked up in card designs because the cards aren't out yet, obviously. There's also, of course, a Totti that we see here. We already had Pirlo and, of course, Roberto Baggio with a new card as well. So let me know if you guys are hyped for V3.6.2. I think they just need to do, you know, a couple of gameplay tweaks. I'm very intrigued as to when they'll start talking about eFootball 20. 2025 it has to be soon now and then i will start doing a few videos on that until next time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to smash that like button and we'll talk to you in a bit peace